Over the years, I have been lucky enough to step into the Today Show kitchen and watch the best chefs from around the world teach us some incredible recipes. We had made that pesto, which was, oh, exactly. darn. Oh, you know, I almost got out of this one clean. Cool. Turn it down. <laughs> oh my God, I had one job. None of which I've mastered because, well, I didn't know the first thing about how to cook. But those days are behind me for good, and I'm starting to find a little confidence in the kitchen. Now, culinary superstar Bobby Flay sharing his love of seafood from coast to coast. Today, we're going to be making crab cakes with an orange chive tartar sauce, and then try a West Coast-inspired crispy fried fish taco with a mango black bean salsa. I love tacos. I have a lot to learn about seafood, and I cannot wait to give this a shot. So let's get started. Bobby Flay. Bobby Flay. It's really Bobby Flay? It's really Bobby Flay. I mean, we have a long history together. Yes, we do. We've, we, we've made lots of food on the Today Show together. We have, and you've even been called in to try to teach me to cook a long time ago. Yes, and we're, we're back. We're back. <laughs> okay, guess what? It didn't stick, but now it is. I'm learning a few things. So I've been brought in to teach you, um, you know, a couple of things. Seafood, but also frying seafood. Okay, so what, what, what's our plan today? So the, so the plan today is, first we're going to shape the crab cakes. Make the tartar sauce, fry the crab cakes, make the mango black bean salsa, prepare the batter and fry the fish, plate and serve. We're gonna start by cutting a shallot. My instinct would be to cut off these edges. Yes, exactly, cut okay. off the edges. And then exactly. I know, I've learned that you should, when you have a round thing, you need to give yourself a flat edge. Yeah, so cut it in half. We're gonna make cuts in, in two different directions. First, oh. we're gonna go like this. Are we mincing? We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna make them very fine. Okay because this is actually gonna be in the crab cake and we're not gonna take it out. So we want it oh, to be good um, little bite size. Exactly right. The one thing I always tell people when, they're, when, they're, when they have a knife in their hand, don't daydream. Just think about exactly what you're doing at the very moment. Why would I daydream when being with you is a dream? Oh my goodness. Okay. Ding. Crab cake is over. Okay, I know. I would, so I did that and now I may just chop chop. Nope, nope. Oh. And then you're gonna and then you're gonna take your, your hand. Oh and, right. Do you remember this? This kind of this thing, right? Hold yeah, it together. Exactly. I hate this. You hate <laughs> I what? hit too hard. And I have to hold it like this because otherwise it splays yes, out. That's that's okay, exactly. And you and that and that's how you're gonna create a like a the fine little, dice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. This is so unnatural. It is. You look, 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 look how beautiful. Too. It's gorgeous. Cute. Now, so if, if you know, a couple of months ago, if somebody handed you a shallot, do you think you could get it diced like no, that? No, definitely yeah, not. Yeah, exactly. So we're gonna put our shallots in here. Okay. So neutral oil, like canola or something, or vegetable? Canola oil, vegetable oil. You know okay. what I've been using a lot of avocado oil. With. Whose big bit is this? I think that's mine. It's definitely yours, Bobby. I'll it's take not credit mine. for it. Okay. Okay. There's two different um, ways to sauté. Uh, so like in this case, we're sauteing the shallots. Yeah. With color is sauteing and sweating it is cooking it without color. Okay. So what we, what we want to do is sweat this. Okay. So we're, we're, we're softening the shallots. Mm -hmm. We're bringing out all the natural flavor. You can smell how delicious it that is. It smells so good. Because. Dumb question alert. How do I know it's soft? If I can't touch it, it's too hot. Well, you, you're feeling it with your, yeah. um, you can also, you can also taste it. Oh yeah. They're big on tasting. <laughs> they're big. It really opens up the poison. It still tastes hard to me. Okay, so then keep sauteing them. Okay. And they're starting to get a little color, so let's be careful. Okay. All right. I think that's fine. Okay, cool. I'm turning it off. Great. All right, so we're going to put this into our bowl. Oh, we forgot to have a toast. Oh, my goodness. Bobby! We're drinking already. I know. That's how we do on this show. Ginger beer margaritas. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Whoo! Got a little kick to it. Yes, I it like does. it. Yes, I it like does. It. All right, now that we're liquored up, what do okay. we do next? You, how are you at zesting? Well, I mean, I think, I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> okay, just be careful. You don't want to, like, zest your fingers. This is an ongoing thing. I don't know if I'm right or left. Can I, can I, can I show you? Can please, I show you something? Would you okay, please? yes, okay. So you can do this one of two ways. You can actually do it like this. Oh, I've never seen that. And what happens is the zester then captures the zest there, and you can go just oh, like I that. Oh, I like that. You like that? Yeah. Okay, try, that. try that. Well, just be careful with it. They are sharp. <laughs> this is painful for you, isn't it? No, it's not at all. How much? Can I be done That's testing? Enough. That's okay. enough. Well, now well, we, we need lemon, lemon too. Okay. Yeah. Can I be done zesting? <laughs> oh I've had enough of zesting. Zesting. Death by zesting. Has Think... the zester ever killed anyone? Okay. I don't know. All right, that's enough lemon. Okay, good. <laughs> I can't watch it anymore. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? Avoid all recipes with zesting. There will be no zesting. Who okay. needs zest? No. Okay. Now, um, 
We're going to take all this mayonnaise. Okay. And the mayonnaise obviously is going to give it some richness. Mm -hmm. Everything like mayonnaise always tastes good, and yeah. also it's going to help uh, bind the uh, the crab cake itself. Okay. We're going to take one tablespoon, which is that measure yes. of of horseradish. Horseradish has a good zesty flavor to it. It does. Make sure the sinuses open up. Exactly it does. I love horseradish. Me too. Uh, How much of that? The one tablespoon of uh, whole grain mustard. Okay. And the thing I like about whole grain mustard is obviously it's going to have that little mustard bite. Yes. And um, <laughs> I just, I, you know what I love about you? This is like the measuring is a guy, which honestly, I, I actually like that because we're not baking, so it doesn't have to be well, exact. That's like funny because that's one of the hardest things for me to get used to is that it doesn't have to be all perfect. Especially when you're not baking. Yeah. Okay. okay and half then, tablespoon of whatever this is. Uh, what is it's this? actually ha half tablespoon of calabria chilies. They're hot. Mm. Yes. Toss all this crab in here. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, where did you get this at the store? This is uh, Maryland Jumbo Lump Crab Meat. Mm -hmm. It's already cooked and it's already clean. Okay. It's, it's not cheap, but it's it's a great product. Yeah. We don't want to mix it yet okay. because we want the crab to stay, you know, in, in pretty big pieces. Okay. You know, you paid money for that texture. Yeah. We don't want to destroy it. Okay. Right. How are you with seasoning? I think one of the things that separates a home cook from a professional cook is how aggressive they season. Oh. And, I, and I'm talking about just salt and pepper. Okay. Okay. So this is kosher salt, which is what I always use. Mm -hmm. And when you pick up kosher salt in your fingers, mm -hmm. you can feel it. Yeah. And when I season with kosher salt, I crush it in my fingers and then I just go like this. Okay. Should and I add more? Add some more. Exactly. Ooh, and more then, or no? And then pepper. pepper. Okay. And like. How's that? More. Oh. Now we're going to take. Two tablespoons of Wonder Flour. Now, what is Wonder Flour? What one, is so it's Wondra. Oh, it's one not Wonder. Wonder. I wonder what Wondra yeah. is. There you go, Wonder Flour. Jump it in. Yes. So Wonder Flour is kind of sprinkle it around. Wonder Flour is um, it's already steamed and cooked, so it's oh. going to dissolve a lot easier than say all-purpose flour, which is still raw. Oh, okay. Okay. And this is what's going to help bind our crab cakes. Now we're gonna we're gonna you can you can start to fold it in, mm -hmm. and I want you to fold as opposed to stirring. I remember folding from baking. Exactly. See, this is starting to look really good. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things about these crab cakes, Savannah, is that we walk a tightrope in terms of whether or not they're going to hold together. And what we're doing is we're giving up the idea of adding lots of breadcrumbs and lots of filler mm -hmm. and keeping it about the crab. But at the same time, we want it to stay together. So we're not using those crutches. We're not using the crutches. So we want flavor. So this is where um, we're gonna get we're gonna have to get our hands dirty. How do you feel about that? I, I feel good if I'm wearing these gloves. Oh my goodness, Spikes it's not very so. glamorous, but I'm gonna go with. Okay, it. no, I see, I know. Okay, so I'm just making a little ball. So yeah, so you, so you make a ball like, like this, a round ball, okay, to I start, it would be flat. almost like a meatball. But then what I do is I I make it into almost like a burger. Oh. Okay. How's that look? Should I make it a little flatter? Like yeah, yours? like that. See if you can make it like that. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like that. Okay, let's see if we can tell who's is who's. Okay, that's definitely the professional. Yes, we can. Yes, <laughs> yes, we most certainly can. When did you start cooking? How did you learn? I started cooking when I was 17 years old. Oh. I dropped out of high school. Wow. And I went to work in a restaurant because I needed a job. And I've been doing the same thing every day. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> it's 10 years later. <laughs> wow. It's been a decade. You look so young. <laughs> Thanks. Do okay. these cook or chill or what? They're gonna, ch <laughs> they're gonna chill. Okay. So they, and, and chilling them is actually one of the things that's gonna help hold them together. Okay. Okay. So you want to put them in the refrigerator? I will. They look so good. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Tartar sauce time. Let's All right. Do so, it. so chives are in the onion family. Mm -hmm. um, I love chives, and I like to, I like to cut them, like I like to cut the edge off. What edge? Like I just I like to cut the edge off like yeah, this. Yeah, I don't like those friends. And then okay. and then start here. Okay. So then you have a nice 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 even edge. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then again, just kind of that rocking method. Mm -hmm. That's what I gotta work on. I'm trying just to hide my fingers like you. Very very as fine as you can get them. Okay. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're doing a great job. Okay. Don't daydream. I know. Trust. That's really good. Thank you. And also incredibly consistent. Oh, good. I'm so delighted. I mean, look at that. Okay. That's really, really good. I love it. And do we have enough? Um, yeah. Okay. Between the two of us, I think okay. we have plenty. All right. Just throw it all in? Yeah. Toss okay. it in there. 
So sure. now we're going to stir everything okay. together. So we're going to start with some orange zest okay. now that you're a professional exactly. zester. Uh, we have some capers that are chopped up. Mm, okay. okay, good, nice, salty flavor. It seems chunky and, for a sauce. But it's a, it's a, it's a tartar sauce, okay. and, and, and it's, it has texture, which is great. So these are the um, cornichon, or oh. gherkins, as you like to call them. Gherkins. They're, they're pickles. They're oh. baby, baby pickles. I love a baby yeah. pickle. Chef's, chef tax. Orange oh, juice. Orange, orange juice, really? Orange juice, yeah. Okay. And then salt and pepper, always. Oh, okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle technique. Crush. Crush and sprinkle. Two tablespoons of that vinegar. Mm. Just do it by eye. Okay. I do it by do eye. It. Do it by. You do can you do promise? it. I promise. I, I'm right. I'm standing right here. Okay. Perfect. That's one. A little more. That's two. Good. Really? God, so, I feel like a pro. Killing the game. So you're just gonna mix this all together mm -hmm. um, until it's well incorporated, mm -hmm. and then. You know, we'll, we'll let this sit for like a half an hour. We have a lot of flavors in there. They, we just want all the flavors to kind of meld together. Looks Here, good. You, you have to taste this. Okay. Oh, yeah. You make sure you're happy with all this the seasoning, seasoning. etc. Oh, that's good. Ooh, it's got a little, that thing. Yes, exactly. That, that's, the, that's the pickling, uh, that, that's the, um, as you like to call them, the gherkins or the cornichon. <laughs> we can leave it at room temperature. Okay. Um, you just put a little in the, ser in the serving bowl mm -hmm. so it looks nice and pretty. Yeah. And we can save the rest for later. Okay. If there's any left over. Oh, great. All right, perfect. Let's make some crab cakes. Okay, should I go get them? Please do. This is so fun. You're doing so much of the work. <laughs> we're gonna take some Wondra flour. Wondra, okay? how much Wondra? Make sure we have I wonder how much Wondra. <laughs> okay. Salt and pepper. Okay. And, and this, this is something that you should know in general. When you're doing a dredging station, like yeah. if you're making cutlets of chicken where it's like yeah. flour, egg, breadcrumbs, mm -hmm. you season every layer. Okay. Otherwise, it's gonna be bland. Okay, exactly. interesting. Yeah, stir it around. So it's just seasoned. Mm -hmm. And then, so basically what we're gonna do is, now this is, you have to be very gentle here, Svenna. We have the crab cakes, they're nice and chilled. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna kinda go like this. Very just top and bottom, or should I get the sides? You can get the sides too. Okay. Okay. You're gonna drop it right in there? We're gonna drop it right in. Let okay. me show you. So basically, a good, a good way to do that is like this. Okay, and they're gonna fry. The so that's you wanna do the same thing. So like, like gentle, yeah, very gentle. Treat them with kid gloves, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Okay, you does know? that seem good? Yep, put it on there and just very carefully. Don't drop it. Don't be mad. Beautiful. What we're trying to accomplish is creating a nice crust on the outside on all parts of the crab cake. Okay. And it's gonna take about three minutes on each side. Okay, I was gonna say, I'm gonna have to flip these over. because. Yeah, at some yes. point. Okay. We're gonna flip this in a few seconds. Okay. Now, again, you wanna be careful here. And what I, what I like to do is kind of like, turn it away from me. Oh. So if it splatters, it goes that way as opposed to this way. Okay. See, look, nice and crusty. Looks nice, and we didn't, it didn't fall apart. No. Or, yeah. If this falls apart, I'm gonna die. No, it's not gonna fall apart. Just be a good crab cake. All right. Hey! I know, but you did it right at you. Oh. Just be careful. Go, okay. go, you know. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so move, move this one over here. Okay. Okay. Now this guy. So this guy, here's what you can do. You can just use this guy mm -hmm. as the as the uh, as the, as the background. Okay. Right, exactly. Right. Use him to flip it over. Okay. And then, I'm gonna, oh, come on now. Now they're friends. They right. don't want to get apart. Okay. Now flip it this way. Flip it. This way. Yeah. But I find that to be hard. Okay. Oh no, it's falling apart. I knew it was too good to be true. Oh, Bobby, we got a loose crab piece. No, it's okay. What do we do? There's one little crab piece. All don't right. worry about it. You know what? Whew. Here's the thing. They'll know they're homemade. Yes. That, and that's really good. That's a really good thing. That's true. All right, so basically now we're going to start to take these out and we're going to put them on a paper towel yeah. so that they just drain a little bit. Drain it. Okay. Should I go for it? Yeah, go for it. I can't lose another one. Gorgeous. This is Bobby's. The good one. The good one. Put this on your plate. Nice. Can I use my fingers? Yeah. And then this is the number two. Yep. Job. Mm -hmm. This is the problem child. Okay, this guy wants to fall apart. Don't do it. Don't it fall looks apart. great. It does. It looks it's good. It's gonna taste good. Alright. A little salt and pepper on mm -hmm. top. While it's still while it's still warm. I'm doing it. Is that too much? Nah, doing your... That's fine. We have crab cakes. Um, and then we're gonna put them on here. Okay. Come on, bring them on over. Oh, don't bring, don't bring, don't bring. Nice. Gosh, these look really good. 
Don't they? Yeah. Nice and crusty. Oh, and hot. Look at that. Okay. I'm gonna put Gorgeous. this on the table. Gorgeous. Yes, put it on the table. Are you so proud of us? I am very proud of you. We're gonna we're gonna fry some fish, but before we get into that, let's make our black bean mango salsa. Prioritizing what you do first, second, third, etc. Mm -hmm. in any meal is really important. But we we know that we can make the black bean salsa, the black bean and mango salsa ahead of time. Let it sit, have it done, because the fish when we cook it, then we want to eat. We're gonna start by uh, dicing an, uh, an onion. We need half of a red onion. Okay. That's gonna be good enough for government work. Here we go. Exactly. I'm not gonna beat Bobby Flay today. No, you're not. But these look really good. Well, let's do the mango next. Okay. Mango yeah. is a very tricky fruit. It's a very tricky fruit. Um, first of all, when you pick a mango, you want it to be ripe. You want it to have some give as you kind of okay. push your thumb into yeah. it. Making these stand up is really important. And then you're gonna go up down both sides of the mango so that you get these two lobes. One like oh. this, and then one like this. No pit, no pit, no pit. Yeah, the okay. pit is in there. Okay, and then so you, I'm trying and, to avoid and, the pit. And then of course you can, you can go around the sides to get these little pieces as well. Yeah, you don't wanna lose. I can't see where that pit is. And then basically this is like the pit's in here, but I just eat this. Oh, mm. I like that. So good, so ripe. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make like, a, almost like diamonds in the, in the, in the mango. You don't want to cut all the way through, just to the skin. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna turn it, and you're gonna go this way. Oh, I'm making like a little, I actually cut an avocado sometimes like this. Yes, exactly right. You can scoop the, you can scoop the mango mm -hmm. right with a spoon. Oh. Look okay. at that. Okay. There's a handful of different ways to cut a mango. I think this is like, I think this is the prettiest way and, and the easiest way. That's now, cool. some of my pieces are kind of big. And Don't worry about it. Okay. We're making tacos. Everything's going to be fine. Exactly. I use canned black beans all the time. They're always cooked perfectly. Good. Strain them out, throw them in there. Good, because I didn't want to make beans. Okay. okay. I didn't want to make beans, so you're not going to make beans. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we Pour have... the margarita. No, I'm no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Well, Might close. Good, yeah. Close. The lime juice. Lime juice, yes. okay. Okay, now, now a couple more things we're going to mm -hmm. put in here. Some honey. Okay. How much? Um, I don't know. Open it up. Let's do this. Oh, boy. Let's do this. Uh, pour some in. Gonna, pour some in. Yeah. What does that even mean? That's good, right? A little more. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Whatever oh, you say, honey. I actually I forgot one more thing. Oh. We have we have, we have to put the, the jalapeno in. Oh, there. okay. We have to we have to dice that. Okay. Okay. Let's cut the stem off. Cut it in half lengthwise. Okay. okay. You're gonna take the inside pith mm -hmm. and the uh, and the seeds out. So now we just have the the flesh of the pepper. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna turn it upside down. Yeah. Flatten it. Push it down, and then you're yeah. gonna dice it. Put some olive oil in there. How much? It says one quarter cup. Fire away. Can I measure Go. it? No. I want okay. you in the bowl. Okay, okay, I'm in I the bowl. I want you in the bowl. I'm present. Exactly. Because that seems this, like, okay, that seems like a, is that enough? A little more, because you feel like you're doing it, okay? Yeah. That's good. good? Okay. And then and then you're gonna season this with salt and pepper, because we season everything with salt and pepper. Yes. Look okay. at you. Look at, I'm doing your technique. A little more? A little, little something salty, and then, and then that's okay. good. And then some black pepper. Okay. Stir. Stir this up. This is looking good. All right. Some of my big mango chunks are a little aggressive, but it's good. It actually looks very good. I'm gonna add some cilantro. How do okay. you feel about cilantro? Um, I like the flavor. I've never chopped it or anything. Okay, so let's do this. Okay. Make a little room on your board. Mm -hmm. You're going to take the flowers off the stems. Okay. Like all these leaves, you mean? The leaves, yeah. That's the part of cilantro that you wanna eat. Okay, that's good. Okay. So then just kind of make it into a pile like mm -hmm. this, and you're going to coarsely chop it. So you put okay. your hand on top of the knife, and you just kind of rock back and forth, right? And, you, and then you kind of go this back and forth that's this fine. way. This makes me feel like I'm on a cookie and just and, and, and put it back into a pile. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, that sounds good. That's coarsely chopped herbs. Okay. As opposed to finely chopped. Okay. Nice and coarse, throw them in there. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're gonna, we're gonna stir this up. Stir it. You okay. taste this and tell me what you think. Mmm, I like it. Do you think it needs anything? Need. Oh, I think geez. it needs a little more salt. Okay. And this is the way you cook. If you're not chewing, mm -hmm. you're not cooking. Mm -hmm. It's also beautiful. It is. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay. Next step. Next step. Let's let's fry some fish. Let's do it. Hey, what hey. I like to do before I deep fry, what? take a big deep swig. Okay, let's do Should it. Should we do it? Yes, absolutely. It's the deep cheers. fry swig. Okay. So instead of the deep <coughs> beer batter. I love that you drink first and then cheers. Well, <laughs> you, I didn't know we were choosing. You, you were prepping. Okay. Like a bad okay. Form. So let's let's get let's start okay. with rice flour. Okay. okay. How much? So we're gonna do equal parts. So do one cup, do equal parts of water, 
and you're going to whisk. Lee, what we're trying to achieve here mm -hmm. is a very light batter mm -hmm. so that it has some crispiness, but you can definitely see and taste the fish. Okay. Okay, that's the key. Now, you told me that fish, that fried doesn't have to be bad for you. But I isn't mean, frying, like, just terrible? Well, well, frying can be bad for you if, if like, for instance, the, the oil is, is not is not hot enough mm -hmm. and, it, and it seeps in throughout all the protein. Oh. But if it's just crisping the outside of it and repelling it, then mm -hmm. it's totally fine. Okay, now how's that? Okay, so that's fine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of of this of this rice flour mm -hmm. and we're going to use this as a dredge, kind oh. of like, you know, like, we, yeah. we don't even have to measure it, all okay. right? We, do, we can just, and then we're going to season every, every layer, as mm -hmm. we said, remember? Look at my heavy hands. I know. Are you seasoning more now than ever before? Yeah, especially with your eyes on me. I, yeah. I don't want to get in trouble. How's that? It's good. Uh, season the fish I, too. Do I need to whisk? Oh my season gosh, the fish. Really? Yes. Jeez. We don't want we don't want bland foods, man. No, I do not. But geez, that's a lot. I would be, I would just be afraid of being like over salted. That's good. No nope, pepper too? Yep. Okay. That's a that's a thick dense piece of fish. We okay. want it, we want to taste it all But the way I didn't through. have to do both sides. That's fine. Side. That's okay. totally fine. So, okay. So we're going to dredge this, mm -hmm. meaning we're going to take the fish, make sure, and, and hit it on all sides mm -hmm. on the flour, on, in the flour first. Flour first and then, or yes, I would have done because, this, then this. No, because this is actually going to hold on to this. Okay. All right. So should I use tongs or just use my you, hands? Use your hand. Okay. All right. So roll dredging. It yeah. Roll it around. All sides kind of yep. deal? Okay. okay. And then, and then pat it so that you get the excess off. Mm -hmm. That's enough. Like that? Yep. Then in here? Yep. I want to be careful. Okay. Let's just do this. Yeah, with me. Okay. okay. 365 degrees. Okay, there's Let's, that thermometer. Now you can, okay. do, the, you can do the rest okay, of them. Okay, let me do And this is going to be a very, very light batter. Mm -hmm. Nice and crispy. I hope you don't like that shirt because I'm okay. getting flour all over it. No problem. Okay. Well, send me your bill. I'm just going to keep drinking. <laughs> That's what I recommend. I love coming to your kitchen. There's always <laughs> alcohol in it. I know. Savannah's Therapy Kitchen. You're doing great. I love the technique. Okay. And also, like, you're, 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 you're moving really well in the kitchen. All right, so we're going to let this cook for about five minutes okay. total. And then we have a wire rack there so that the oil drips through to the bottom. Okay. Just be very gentle and also be very careful. It's very hot oil. You can't even see anything. I don't even know if I'm getting one. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah, see? Okay. See, it's like a stealth-like batter. Just yes. touch that. Okay. Nice and crispy. Your head did I get enough on there? You did great. Let's get the fish out of the pot. Okay. <laughs> it's been five minutes. Is this look right to you? Yep. Put it on the uh, tray. Looks great. Look okay. at that. That's gorgeous. It does. Ooh, did, I, got, I didn't stick the landing. So great. Okay. It so looks light nice. and crispy. It really does. Here are your two favorite friends. Oh, jeez. Here we go. A little this. salt and pepper. Okay. Just on top while it's still hot and the oil's still warm. Oh my gosh. I really overdid that one. Well, that's a salt. It's okay. And also, when you season, you want to season from up here. Why? Because otherwise, you're going to have clumps of salt. Well, that's what I did. Too get. close. You're exactly. right. Well, that's what happened. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this looks nice. Can we Done. eat? Yes, let's eat. You get okay. the fish. I'll get the salsa. All right. Let's do it. Look at this feast we've made. Fantastic. But it's not. It's not just your TV. I actually learned something I know. today. I know. How are you going to do? Create your fish taco. Okay, so we have some tortillas here. Yeah. Nice and warm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks like a nice tortilla. Um, I'm gonna teach you a secret. Don't okay. take the one on the top. Take the one in the middle oh. because it's more pliable. Oh, how interesting. You see it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I take a little avocado relish, mm -hmm. and then you can take a piece of fish. Mm -hmm. the fish on top. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh my gosh. A little mango salsa. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Right? Yeah. And then what I like to do is just kind of squeeze a lime on top. Oh, yeah. That's good. And then you can take a little cilantro, mm -hmm. maybe just a sprig, and put it on top. You can just pick up your tortilla, mm. and you have a fish taco. Oh, my gosh. This is a big bite. Turn the camera away. It's well, you, pretty. You taste, taste the fish. You know, it's okay. like... Okay. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's so good. Don't look at me. It's but it, so good. It's light and crispy. Mm. You did a great job cooking the fish. And this is obviously great for, you know, to make a taco. But also, like, you can also do, like, serve it as, you know, fish and chips. Oh, my kids would love that with this ketchup. Yeah. Just remember this. Flavor is very important, but contrast of texture is, is just as important okay. in, in eating and cooking. All right, I'm going to try this uh, crab cake mm. now. Mm. That is so good. 
It tastes like crab. It tastes like crab. And that's the cake. I just say that's the best crab cake I ever had. Best crab cake you ever made. Yeah, that's true. Only <laughs> crab cake I ever made, but yum, that is delish. Mm. And I love this chunky tartar sauce. This is delicious. I am so proud of myself. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Thank Cheers. Thank you. You've been on a long journey with me, Bobby. Savannah, invite me back anytime. I'm here to teach. I Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.